All right, so in this video, I want to quickly go over how you can get help, uh, at least for Touch Designer. Um, and yeah, so we have like this help menu up here. Um, I'm going to get back to that in a second. And we have these free links here. And if you click on the wiki, surprisingly, you're going to be taken to the wiki. So you're going to be uh, landing on this page here. And um, so this is really not that much about if you have like a specific question or like a problem that you're that this is more like about touch designer generally um, and about some parts of touch designer as well. You have like c categories here and you can you can all look through all these, but this uh, might be a bit overwhelming at the at the beginning. Um, so if you if you do have a question, you have like the this link down here or like these other resources. Um, so mostly touch the Touch Designer help group in Facebook is really great. It's pretty much the only reason I still use Facebook. You can ask any kind of question there, and there's some lovely people who will answer that. And there are some other links here, so just have a look. And um, also, you can click on the forum here. And you're gonna land on the forum, and um, yeah, I guess you know what a forum is for these kind of uh, programs. But uh, just make an account, have a look through it, or even without an account, uh, have a look through it. Um, there's probably some kind of there's somebody else who already had your question, uh, especially in the beginning. Um, yeah, uh, or if, if there isn't the question, ask it yourself. Yeah, pretty straightforward. <laughs> um, also, if you click on tutorials, you're gonna land on this absolutely amazing page. Uh, wait, what was it? So if I click on this, I don't know. It's kind of broken. <laughs> so you know, I'm gonna land on this, and this is really not that much. That's just really linking you to free videos at the moment. I don't know what this is. Anyways, if you do want to have more tutorials, you can go to the Altd org, which is like a project of, yeah, another Touch Designer user. So a lot, a lot of thanks for that. Uh, you can find my tutorials in here as well, but also many, many great others. So yeah, I'll, I'll link this in the description. Um, yes. All right, let's now go to um, specific operators. So there's two main ways to uh, learn more about a an operator. So if you click on any operator, you always have this menu up here. And there's always these two question marks. One of the question mark about this um, operator generally, and one is about all the uh, Python functions, I'd say, uh, for this operator. So if you click on just this normal question mark there, you're gonna um, land on this uh, on the specific wiki entry of that operator. So now uh, for every operator you have this uh, wiki entry and there is always this description or like introduction there uh, which is linking you to some other stuff as well. And then you have every parameter uh, explained more or less. As you can see here it's perfectly explained. Um, yeah, so you can you can you can go to any kind of operator. Always click on that question mark, and you're gonna you can learn a bit about that. So this is a nice start, and especially then later when you're working with Python, uh, this wiki is is kind of yeah very necessary. Um, so another way to work uh, to to like learn about a, an operator is to go to the help menu here and then click on the operator snippets. And then this uh, window here is gonna open. And now you have for pretty much every, like for a lot of operators, not for all of them, but for uh, the most important ones, you, you have like a, an entry here and you can click on, on one operator and then you have like a couple of examples, how to use this and um, like w w basically what you can do with it and how you can how you can do that. So here you can go through uh, some examples, and um, I don't even know about all of this stuff. It's it's really cool. So I definitely recommend, especially in the beginning, but also later on, just going through these and and checking out what they can do. Um, also, you can just click on a random one, and you get a yeah, like an explanation uh, or like an example of what this is doing, and um, also kind of description here. 
Yeah. Yeah, I think you get the idea. Um, yeah, so one last thing. Uh, if you get an error, for example, if you get like a, a cross here, red one, or like a, a yellow uh, warning sign, then you can either click on this eye here or on uh, like a middle mouse click on the operator that is showing the, the problem. And then you'll get like a, uh, for example, let's do this. Uh, if I click on this now, it says not enough sources specified because the out uh, always expect expects one input. So yeah, you can see this red cross there, actually a black cross on a red sign. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then you'll see the error there and you can hopefully work that out. And obviously, yeah, you can just uh, like ask me or uh, ask in the comments. Um, you can also ask me if you want to have like a um, personal Skype call if you have if you're like completely stuck. Um, and generally, there's a lot of kind people that will help you. So just get in, in touch. <laughs> ah, oh, boy. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much it for now. I think that's the most important part. You can also just have a look. Um, and by the way, the, the wiki and this kind of stuff, when you like click on a uh, question mark here, that also works offline. So you don't have to have internet connection for that. All right, let's now get into the first fun part after I've been just talking a lot. And uh, I'll see you there.